This is Echo, which is a 58 foot tug. Uh, it was launched in 2009 and has a splendid 1930s Gardner 4L2 four cylinder diesel in it, which was rebuilt in 2005, I believe. Just walk along the length of it, you can see the rather fine lines. The steelwork is by Coulter boats who didn't build that many shells but what they did build uh, was pretty impressive and, and this is one of them it's got a 12 mil base plate on it as well you can see you've got a tug deck here it's a, a little over nine feet great outside space some people say they're a waste of space but having owned one i have to disagree fantastic for jumping on and off when you're working locks and as you will see shortly there is a mountain of space underneath it Coming forwards by the light, you've got a gas locker, which is a couple of 13 kilo callow cylinders in there. And then spinning round, you've got a pushback hatch and a set of steps take you down into the uh, saloon area. Come on. Art Deco style leather upholstered armchairs there. You could readily replace those if you wanted with a sofa or even a sofa bed. And here you've got a multi-fuel stove on a hearth in the corner as well. Radiators are run by uh, an Eberspeker diesel boiler unit. And you can see under the steps there was the space where you could happily put a double bed that would pull out from under the tug deck or even you could use it under the tug deck. There's quite a lot of headroom under there. Kitchen is open plan as you can see. There was gas cooking on the other side. You've got a 12 volt fridge installed on this side. Solid oak worktops are made of oak block. And that then passes through into a full width walkthrough bathroom area. Thetford cassette there in the corner. Basin bowl set into a cupboard unit. There's a vanity unit overhead as well. And here you have a fully lined shower cubicle. And a further small cupboard. Now here is that gardener. This is some machine, I have to say. That's the Parsons gearbox that's attached to it. So the electric control panels. Uh, box down here is the inverter. And then you have the boatman's cabin. Now you can see this is with the bed down. It's uh, much wider than the average traditional boatman's bed. It's four foot six and it manages to be six foot three in width by going under the gunnels as well. And this is with the bed back up again. There's lots of nice traditional decoration here on these black gloss cupboard finishes which makes a change from scumbling really. Um, this is how the bed drops down. It comes in two halves, the doors here, and the, you can see the mattress stores away behind it. And there's the other catch for the other half. Drop down table. The one item that's not here is the traditional boatman's range. I have to say, lovely though they are, um, most boats I go on with a, a replica boatman's cabin, there's a range in there that's probably been lit twice in its life. <laughs> 
but you know they can look the part but I don't think you'd suffer any by not having one and finally out onto the stern this is the view from the steerer's position And that is Echo. So for a brochure, a photo gallery and a layout plan, do go to look at rugbyboats.co.uk.